welcome you all for one more lecture that is lecture number 18 of the course industrial wastewater treatments and today we'll discuss about wastewater treatment and waste minimization for textile industry so outline of topics we are going to discuss includes treatment of wastewater various option flow sheets waste minimization and byproduct recovery so if you remember the characteristics high ph high tss tds high bod and cod of textile wastewater it requires primary as well as secondary treatment now for primary treatment if you remember if you see the manufacturing process there are certain sources which are characterized by very strong nature and hence these sources or streams are separated and treated for particular uh, treatment and then the streams are mixed with other streams of wastewater so the strongest waste is curing waste which is highly colored for the chocolate in color and it has very very high pH so this wastewater is first neutralized and then it is given treatment of coagulation flocculation and then only it is mixed with other waste then very important part of primary treatment is equalization since there are many streams of wastewater each having different characteristics so equalization is important operation for treatment of textile wastewater which imparts uniform characteristics to wastewater after equalization neutralization is done the purpose of having neutralization after equalization is that once the uniform characteristics is imparted some sources of waste are neutral some are alkaline so once it is they are mixed then after that if you do neutralization the chemical requirement it is less so from alkaline ph it is neutralized to have neutral ph that is around 7 after this the wastewater is subjected to treatment of coagulation flocculation and settling for removal of suspended as well as colloidal solids now this also helps in removal of color why color because of the dyes so because of dyeing and printing of textile the wastewater has color present in it and the color varies depending upon which type of dye is used so coagulation flocculation and settling is very important part of primary treatment it reduces bod load as well as remove color up to certain extent the primary treatment is followed by secondary or biological treatment because of the biodegradable nature of wastewater most of the available technology that is biological treatment technology they can be effectively used for treatment of this wastewater activated sludge process can offer efficiency 90 to 95 percent which is really good trickling filter also gives same efficiency for low cost treatment aerated lagoons 
80 to 95 percent efficiency if hydraulic retention time is 6 to 7 days and it can offer 75 to 80 percent efficiency with hydraulic retention time reduced to 2 days. Another cheaper option is use of oxidation ditch which gives 85 to 95 percent reduction in BOD with HRT of just 12 hours. So, if you look at the wastewater treatment flow sheet, it starts with equalization, neutralization, coagulation, flocculation and settling. Then, aerobic treatment like ASP and trickling filter followed by secondary settling tank. Supernatant from SST is ready for disposal after disinfection. Okay. Now, many times the primary and secondary treatment, they are not sufficient especially with respect to color. And many times further treatment, which we call tertiary treatment, is needed. And main objective of the tertiary treatment is removal of color. So, for removal of color, various advanced technologies are available, and any one of the following can be used effectively for color removal that is use of electrocoagulation then membrane filtration like reverse osmosis or microfiltration ultrafiltration then dye recovery that is use of semi permeable membrane and recover dye adsorption by uh, conventional as well as non-conventional adsorbing reagent is popular and one more very popular technique that is AOP advanced oxidation processes. They are very effective in destructing dye and removal of color. So, already we have discussed this treatment. Now, let us focus on waste minimization. So, since textile wastewater is strong in nature, process change or substitution of chemical is very promising and has been found effective. The maximum BOD contribution is because of desizing. Use of starch which has high BOD. So, it is possible to replace starch which has BOD value 600 to 1000 milligram lit per liter with other chemicals like carboxyl, methyl, cellulose, CMC or polyvinyl alcohol and these substances have BOD only in the range of 4 to 16 milligram per liter which is very very less compared to starch. So, this chemical substitution can reduce BOD and this is very very effective means of waste minimization. Other options for chemical substitution includes use of reactive dyes in place of wet dyes or azo dyes. So, reactive dyes they are absorbed easily and better way on fabric. Hence, less dye enter 
the waste water. So, this is also very good example of waste minimization by substitutions of chemicals. Second option is process or equipment modification. So, it has been observed that continuous processes produces less quantity of wastewater with less strength compared to that of batch process. Then other modification is counter current washing in which final washing of fabric is done with fabric as it moves from first to last tank the water overflow or direction of water flow is exactly in opposite direction that is from last tank to first tank. Now, by doing this the cleansing power of water is utilized to its maximum possible hence we end up using less water. Okay. The third method for waste minimization is good housekeeping, reuse and recycling is next. Whichever streams of wastewater which are either non, not polluted or less polluted, they can be segregated, treated and recycled. And the last option by product recovery. Unlike sugar industry or dairy industry, here textile industry the wastewater does not offer much option for recovery. The one byproduct which can be recovered that is recovery of starch by scrapping dry starch paste from the vessel in which the starch paste is prepared. Okay. So, this also reduces BOD load, but starch being cheap, so there is no economical recovery only it will reduce BOD load. The other one is recovery of caustic from mercerizing wastewater where the wastewater containing caustic is subjected to treatment by semi permeable membrane which separates caustic with less strength but in its pure form and this can be reused again for mercerizing by makeup of caustic. So, this uh, other various options for waste minimization for textile industry. So, we will end this lecture and in the next lecture we will discuss another agro based industry that is pulp and paper industry. Thank you everyone.